Welcome to John's Films. Today we're going to learn how to use the Cloud Tracker to track and highlight a moving area in your footage. In the process, we'll destroy a fishing rod. There's an easy way to do this in Resolve, and there's a hard way. Believe it or not, the hard way is to go into your Color tab, choose frame you'd like to edit, get down to it in your keyframes panel on the right, choose your power windows on the left, pick a defining region through a power window. I'm going to highlight my fishing pole. And now I have the freedom to color grade that using my wheels any way I'd like to color it. So what happens when I play though, I'm going to hit the keyframe toggle to turn on some key keyframes for it. You can see that it starts to float off. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to keyframe the location by going back into my power window and using the drag, there we go, drag it into place on top of my fishing pole. And then I'm going to play a little bit more and I'll drag it back into place. Play a little bit more, drag it back into place. Now this could work, but it's kind of tiring and depending on how long your footage is, it can get very frustrating. But playing it back through, you can see it now moves along with it somewhat. It's not as smooth as it could be because I didn't go every frame, which is about what you'd have to do to make it perfect. But there's another option. With the other option, I'm going to remove the existing keyframes here by deleting them. And I'm going to go into the tracking node. So here in the tracker, I have the ability to do FX or stabilization. I'm going to track against a window though. So I choose window. I've now got the point in footage where I want to start tracking. And I'm going to use my interactive cloud tracker. This will automatically inside of my panel choose points for it to track. So I'm now going to click play which allows it to track forward and you can see it's now processing going forward and it is picking out points that it should manage to track and stick the power window to. You notice it's doing a pretty darn good job. Now that I've got that tracked, the last thing for me to do is to keyframe the output so that I only see the glow when it's being tracked and when I want it to show on the frame. So I know where my starting frame is because I've got it here. So I'm going to take and jump over to the key and change the key output here on the keyframing by clicking the corrector and then changing the key output to nothing until it gets up to uh, let's go to so I want it to be zero here and I want it to jump to one right there so I'm going to set it to we are at one, I'm going to set it to zero. And now we've got a keyframe that sets it so that it's at zero opacity for that node, which has that corrector in it, until we get to until we get to this point right here where we will turn it all the way on. Somewhere around one. There we go. And now it's off, turns on, and we want it to turn right back off, don't we? about there. So I'm going to change it back to zero there. And now what I've got, put that to one, there we go. So now what I've got is it plays along and it shows up right when it starts tracking. And it's green, fades off. And now it is going to snap. Yikes. Three different pieces. So that's how you would set up tracking with the cloud tracker to highlight an area on your screen in DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching.